Langham's dream of promotion in their 150th year was cruelly crushed by the team just below them in the league, Leith, who clinched a place in Division 1 next season by a single league point. The home side showed they meant business early on, with a penalty and two tries from Josh Campy and Michelle Crawler in the first 20 minutes to give them a 17-point lead. The visitors reduced the deficit with a pushover try from Stephen Nicholl, converted by skipper Nathan Smith. Halftime score then was 17-7, meaning there was a mountain to climb for the men from Milntown if they were to stop Leith. Two coachloads of Langham supporters were valiantly cheering on their team, but it was Leith who were playing the better rugby and looking stronger, which was evident when flanker Craig Allen took full advantage of a huge gap in the Langham back row to run in for the try of the day. Four scores would be enough to ensure they went up, and it was their big loosehead prop James Mallon who scored the vital fourth try. Langham did respond with a Joseph Kirkup try 20 minutes from time, but the final chapter was written by Mallon, who capitalised on a mistake from the line-out to run in for his second try and Leith's fifth, with the extras added by hooker Ross Johnston. I have to say that the referee didn't help Langham's cause with some very strange decisions throughout the game, but overall it was the hungrier team on the day that came out victors. Perhaps not surprisingly, Langham captain Nathan Smith was in tears at the final whistle after coming so close to a fairy tale end to the club's anniversary season. However, there is no doubt that it was definitely sunshine on Leith today. Final score at Academy Park, Leith 38, Langham 12. Nathan, you must be absolutely gutted. Yeah, it's a tough one. Um, it's the first kind of finals kind of game that a lot of us have played in, so it hurts, but we'll remember this and we'll take it into the next season that we are at that level. We are up at the, t- uh, the top of the league level that, of play and we'll, we'll remember this hurt today and uh, take that into next season. What do you think was the difference today? They did look a strong and powerful team, they were. Personally, I think size. They just they had, they had size on every position. We tried our heart out, we were chopping chopping and knocking them back, but the next the next wave round was just as big. So just a very, yeah, like you said, a very big, strong outfit and uh, they just managed to just managed to keep us rolling back today. It's been quite a season for the club, 150th year. It would have been fantastic to finish with promotion, but it just wasn't to be. No, yeah, look, we we targeted it at the start of the season. We know we know our our um, our skills. We know that we're at that level. Just couldn't get over the line at the end. But a long old dragon season. There's a bit in the middle there where we didn't even know. We didn't. We only had about seven at training, so we didn't know if we were going to get back to that level. So to get to do this run at the end and to put ourselves in that position I'm just so proud of everybody everybody's come back and we motored on towards the end but it just wasn't to be this year I think you can be proud as a skipper of the team because the team have been fantastic and I've seen you four times this season and, and they've performed so well but today Leith I think they were the hungrier team yeah I'm so proud we're such a young side me myself, like even me, I'm I'm 25 as captain. That's I'd consider that young as well. But every every position we've got youngsters coming through, and we've had to use them this year as well. We've used a lot of players, a lot of them being youngsters that are just coming through. But it just shows that we're 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 there for the next few years. Yeah, like you say, Leith were a bit hung, hungrier today, but we'll learn from it, and that's where that's where we'll take into next season.